It's Monday of PGA Merchandise Show Week here in Orlando, Florida. And what you see throughout media coverage of the Merchandise Show is this big room flooded with people. However, what you don't normally see is what it looks like just a few days before. Think about it this way. Two days ago, this room was basically empty. And now it is filled with shipping containers, mannequins, and each company is putting up their own little mini showcase of what they're going to have to offer for the 2017 season. If you look back here, you're going to see all these people doing a lot of hard work. It, it, so it takes a lot of time to make the show floor look as good as it does. And to see how the final products are going to be, you can download the THP mobile app or go to the Hackers Paradise app. When most think about the PGA show, they think of the hundreds and hundreds of exhibitors that we see on the show floor today. What they don't realize is that it actually began in humble beginnings in 1954, with just a few merchandisers coming together to try to find a better path to help grow the game and the industry that we all love. Welcome to the kickoff of the 2017 PGA Merchandise Show here at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. I'm Dean from the Hackers Paradise, and as you can see, we've got a big crew of guys with us. We're going to walk through those doors and we're going to bring you coverage like has never been seen before. You're going to get the ins and outs of every booth that we visit. You're going to get some unique takes and some pretty amazing interviews, knowledge, and talk about product and apparel. So I hope you enjoy it and come with us on this incredible journey. It is demo day of the PGA Merchandise Show week. And again, we've been trying to give you as many different unique inside looks as possible. We got here nice and early, and we're here at the Wilson staff area, and you can see they're still putting things up. It's something different. This stuff really comes down to the wire for these companies. They put a lot of work and a lot of effort into getting everything ready for people to come in and hit their equipment, but you just don't realize what goes into it. They've got probably 65 people here getting this entire stage area set up, so we're going to have a lot of golfers hitting clubs like the D300 line and the Wilson Triton. In my hand is the new TaylorMade P770 iron from TaylorMade Golf. This iron, I'll tell you what, is a gorgeous looking club. They have used a new forging process. It is their most precise forging to date. Also, they utilize tungsten in this iron. Right here in the bottom of the sole, they've got tungsten throughout to really help optimize trajectory and ball flight. Something that if you are a golfer who likes to move the ball, you want something that's a little bigger but it feels really good, the P770 might work for you. Hey, I understand that this new Fujikura Atmos shaft has uh, low torque. I think I need that, like the tour players, get my ball flight down. I agree. You don't want something that's got a higher torque and whippy and you, just, you, know, you lose the club head and you swing. You want something low. Guys, 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 I couldn't help but overhear you guys talking about torque, and that is just absolutely ridiculous. You don't need a lot of torque. In fact, torque is 26 degrees of torque are in the palm of your hand alone. So if you think a low torque is what's necessary to hit straight balls, long balls, and you got 26 degrees here and you're saying, I only need three degrees of torque, that's ridiculous. Torque actually helps a gear effect, and gear effect's going to get you longer shots. Guys on tours are swinging, I'm sure, way harder than you guys, although you look big and strong, I'm sure, but these guys are swinging 117 miles an hour. They need that to stabilize, but what are you swinging, 85, 95? Gear effect and torque is going to help that thing load and unload at impact and go long. It's also going to help you square up the club face to get that thing straighter and longer shots. So at the end of the day, high torque is what you guys probably need. The new M1 and M2 drivers from TaylorMade, we're seeing an increase of carbon fiber usage so we can really see more weight moved around, making a more playable driver. They're using on the crown what's called final finish to final finish. It's going to be much more durable where the carbon fiber meets the leading edge and it's going to provide more overall durability and a better look for a long period of time. Overall, with the line, you're seeing a driver for everybody. The M1 is going to be the most adjustable. The M2 is going to be more playable. And we're also seeing a new draw spec that's going to come in and help those people that really have that left or right miss. With Fujikura, and they have launched a new golf shaft for 2017. It is Atmos. And as you can see, they're setting up. We've got lots of bags filled with those shafts. They're going to help people get dialed in find the perfect ball flight for them, whether it be high, medium, or low. They've got a shaft that can fit them. Guys are going to come out. They're really preparing for it. It's going to be crazy with people coming to hit drivers. All different heads, all with the same Fujikura shaft, finding one that works best for them. In my hand, the M1 iron, a new iron from TaylorMade Golf, has a multi-material construction. The 3 through 7 iron utilize tungsten to help optimize trajectory and spin and launch. On the sole, you can see the speed slot. That's going to help produce some speed. And also, for the M1, on the face, they have face slot technology. That's going to help you on off-center hits, produce the fastest ball speeds that you possibly can get on those misses. 
With the M2 iron from TaylorMade, we're seeing a complete redesign this year. There's a heavier emphasis on stability, still using the speed slot, still using face slots, but now getting that CG lower for a higher launch, more playability, and this is really going to be an iron that's going to fit the masses that like to get the ball up and they like to have a more playable shot time and again. At the demo day portion of the PGA Merchandise Show, what I'm holding in my hand is going to be a club that a lot of people are going to be trying to hit today. It is the Wilson Staff Triton Driver. It won their Driver vs. Driver reality show that aired on Golf Channel last fall. Eric Sillis is going to be here to talk with people about the driver that he created. You know, it's really unique because we got to see this driver from its conception all the way to the finalized product. It's going to get put through its paces today and people are really going to have a chance to try out the different sole weights. They're going to take a look at the white stripe on the top, the one-to-one -one ball ratio. And I think people are going to enjoy seeing what they've got from Wilson staff between this and the D300. Throughout the show, there's not just exhibits inside the convention center with today's equipment, latest and greatest. There's also some exhibits outside that really celebrate the PGA and golf's history. Here, we're looking at one of the showcases that has Ben Hogan's championship medals from his 1953 season, where he won the only three majors that he played in. Just something, a little touch for the people that come in to visit the PGA Merchandise Show. Well, this is it. After the months of lead up and build up time to this incredible expo, it is time. We are at the Orange County Convention Center to kick off the coverage of the 2017 PGA Merchandise Show. It's pretty secretive behind these doors, but what we want to do is take you on a journey with us as we look at all of our favorite exhibits on the floor. Taking a look at the Cross Comfort Grip from Superstroke. They have this, it's a new grip offered in three different colors. As you can see, we've got the gray and black. We've got the black with the blue and we also have the red with the black. Wow, that's kind of strange. So these grips will be available this year. I'm here looking at all of the different golf balls at the show, and I found these Chrome Soft X's. You know what? Honestly, probably the ball that's going to go in my bag because I feel like it's really going to fit my... Really, buddy? I mean, come on. You really think that this is the ball for you? Absolutely. It's probably right because I consider this the internet golfer golf ball because <laughs> it's going to help people that think they swing 118 miles an hour. Or 16. Yeah, yeah. Okay, close. Close. And uh, the guys that need more spin in their six iron because they like to work the ball left to right. My ball doesn't hang on to the greens when I hit six irons. I need a lot more spin there. This could do it for me, right? Uh, well, I think a lesson would help you more. That, that seems crazy. I'm yeah. just, just going to buy these. OK, that'd be great. Founded in 1963, Honma Golf has been a staple of the Asian golf equipment market. Since then, they've slowly spread out and started to have a presence in the 1980s in North America. With the 90s, that grew, and now in 2017, we're going to see a real movement of them trying to grasp a foothold here in North America. Known for high-quality forgings, for designs that are timeless and materials that are top of the line, Honma Golf is going to be a name you're going to start to see a lot more of this year. Hi, this is Mike Yagley from Cobra Golf Research and Development, and we are here today to talk about the rails on the F7 fairways and the F7 hybrids. And we have done extensive research with soil dynamic models to understand exactly how rails work. And what they do is they give you an immense amount of more club head speed as you're getting down after that golf ball, whether it be in a mildly difficult lie or really deep lie in, in a divot or down in the rough. They give you up to two miles an hour more club head speed, which means you get more ball speed and you get longer, higher flights. They work. And I use them in my daily life so that I can walk faster and get faster to wherever in the heck I need to go. This is Mike Yagley, and you should try those King F7 hybrids and fairways.